Hi, it's Bruce again. Welcome to my Colorado Rocky Mountain Lab. And uh, what we're going to take a look at next here for our project selections is a uh, frequency counter, a uh, 100 kilohertz to 2.4 gigahertz uh, frequency counter. And it has uh, eight digits. So it has a lot more, it has a lot of digits. Uh, so you can get some resolution onto this thing. And right now I'm, I'm feeding it from a 10 megahertz uh, uh, time base that's buried up in that equipment up in there. And that, that time base is extremely accurate. And we're reading within a hertz or two, which, you know, it's not uh, anything too special, but it's, uh, uh, it's doing good. Okay, well, I've opened up the frequency counter just to give you a look at the inside. And as you can see, it's a relatively simple project. I mean, the board, which, I don't know, was 10 to $18 on eBay, somewhere in that range, um, is a complete unit. So basically, you just had to cut out the hole for the mounting, provide the mounting hardware. You have, a, um, you have to provide the input jack provide the uh, on-off switch and a means to connect up the power. The um, power that uh, I use for this is provided by a, uh, a little wall wart. This is a 12 volt 500 milliamp uh, wall wart. It's pretty simple. So that's it really not much to it. Put her back together and we'll give her a try. Now let's go ahead and see what we get when we uh, when we try to put a gigahertz on there. So you can pick these units up for around ten dollars on eBay and uh, they report to be able to, to run up to 2.4 gigahertz and that might be but uh, the problem with it is they don't tell you in the ads what the uh, sensitivity is on the uh, 60 megahertz to 2.4 gigahertz range. Uh, they say it wasn't tested, which there's no way I believe that whoever designed and built this obviously tested it. So they just didn't want to tell you. Uh, but it's, it's quite high. Um, runs higher than a zero dBm so we're you know we're talking like uh, uh, I don't know half a volt or more uh, like right now I am feeding uh, at zero dBm out of my um, my HP I am coming through a doubler so we might have a little loss there and we are reacting to it at uh, 1.1 gigahertz um, I'm putting in 549 uh, megahertz times two would be uh, oh 598 or I mean 1098 plus uh, another 0.57 times two, so we're running 1099. So it's it's probably fairly accurate at that at range. Very bright, very easy to read, large digits. Um, I am using a, uh, a wall wart uh, again here. This one is a 12 volt DC uh, wall wart. So I'm feeding 12 volts into the back of this thing. I put a little jack in there and uh, on off switch. Uh, hooked up my, uh, my input to the board and uh, mounted the, uh, the whole thing into the box. And so we have a, uh, a readout capable of reading up to 2.4 gigahertz. However, it's not very sensitive. So that's the, the brunt of that. Um, if I could come up with an amplifier, it might be worth doing, I don't know. We'll see. Um, not much more to talk about here, that, but I thought I'd show it to you and let you know that you could do something simple like this. And uh, uh, If you're reading the uh, uh, frequencies below 500 megahertz, uh, it's it's a lot more reasonable. It's um, relatively sensitive, uh, like a hundred millivolts, something like that. So, okay. So here we've uh, we've attached the input of the psimometer or counter frequency counter 
uh, to this wideband amplifier, which is another project I'm going to dis display in a, a later review. But this project will um, amplify signals between 0.5 to uh, 1.6 gigahertz. So uh, 0.5 megahertz to 1.6 gigahertz. And uh, right now I'm feeding in a signal of a gigahertz. And we can see that we're, we're reading that without a problem. And if I, uh, if I up my frequency here, let's go to 1.1. 1 1.2, 1.3, 1.4, 1.5, 1.6. Now the 1.6 is the limit of my wideband amps um, specified range. So I don't know that we can go more. We'll try 1.7, 1.8, 1.9. There's two. So it looks like we can just about get to two uh, gigahertz, but we're overdriving that wideband amp, so probably not a great idea. Put her back down to 1600 here, and then I feel safe. But at least I proved that the, uh, the counter is capable. It just doesn't have sensitivity. So it really needs an amplified front end. Okay. Thanks for watching. Look for the next project.